Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and we gotta talk about it, y'all. We've gotta talk about the big Quantumania elephant in the room. And no, I'm not talking about Giant, Scott, and Cassie, because that would be rude. And they're both way too hot to be elephants, let's be real. But oh no, today I am here to ask the question that we've all been wondering ever since we all watched the Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania. Did Janet bang the Kang? Did a cheater Pfeiffer peck Kang's pickled pepper? Well, I, like many other people on the internet, definitely think they totally did do the quantum adultery. But let's get into why I believe this, shall we, my fellow nosy nerd babies? But first, you guys know that I'm always rocking this hoodie because this is my favorite freaking piece of New Rockstars merch. It's our new Kang hoodie from nerdriot.shop. It is so freaking dope, along with our other Quantumania inspired merch. And we're just starting to get our new Mandalorian inspired merch. The shirts are really dope. I freaking love these designs. So nerdriot.shop is your one-stop shop for all things nerd. So shop today. All right, gang, it's time for the question. Did Janet engage in the Quantum Kang Bang after they spent all that time together? Well, <laughs> you can just call my ass Steve Harvey because I recently conducted a survey of 100 people. Well, it was actually 25. 100 people, 2,500 people. And apparently 80% of you believe that Janet became very familiar with all seven of Kang's holes in the quantum realm through the quantum sin of adultery. And I don't blame y'all because I too have seen Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I too know that Janet Van Dyne and Kang spent a lot of time together in the quantum realm outside of time. I mean, Janet literally said the word ages when referring to how long it took for them to repair a ship. And I mean, Kang's crashed ship was not going to repair itself. I mean, you would think it would, considering that it was from the future, but whatever. And being the only Earthling that Janet was ever going to stumble across for a long while in this strange new place, it makes sense that these two would become extremely close in more fun ways than one, as Janet's relationship with Kang was probably the strongest bond that she had in the quantum realm ever. Because while, yeah, the quantum realm apparently is home to a lot of human-like beings like Krylar, Quaz, and Gentora, but none of them really had a shared knowledge of Earth history and a passion for quantum science like Kang did. And I think Janet really did feel that disconnect between those people too, even saying in the movie that after so many years alone, it was nice to have a friend in Kang. But not only this, but Kang and Janet were both quantum scientists with a passion for learning and discovery. And in the movie, Janet says that Kang introduced himself as a scientist and a traveler. And in her words, she had never met anyone like him and that he felt lost. How do you know that he felt lost, huh? Most people would say he seemed lost. Which felt more lost? His pecs or his abs, Janet? Tell me. And she says this right after shots of them smiling at each other and Kang almost going to bite his thumb when he looks at her. Like, come on now. The implication was so strong here. Like, so strong. And while I do realize that Janet does note that they were only friends, that don't mean that they can't be friends with benefits. You know what I'm saying? Especially when a hot, black, and mysterious quantum scientist literally falls out of the sky after years of not having your sexual and physical needs addressed. And in the movie, we learn that this is something that Hank was more than fine with his wife doing after he discovered that she had a brief fling with Bill Murray's Krylar character. Hank, being the scientist that he is, understood that his wife still would have sexual needs in the quantum realm, much like he had his own sexual needs in the big people world. And Hank was comfortable enough with their own romantic bond for one another to know that any sexual contact that they might have with someone outside of their marriage would be purely to fulfill their biological desire for physical and sexual intimacy. Which is why I believe Hank mentions having a brief fling with a woman named Linda back in the day. But that relationship not really going anything beyond the physical because at the end of the day, Linda's touch wasn't as appealing as Janet's love, which is quite romantic in its own way. But speaking of this mysterious Linda that Hank had past relations with, I have a feeling that this revelation of Hank Pym also having extramarital partners could be the MCU teasing the coming of not one, but two new Marvel heroes. But first of all, let's talk about Linda because I have a feeling that Hank name dropping Linda could be Marvel's second time teasing the coming of Marvel's night nurse to the MCU. Because check this out, gang. Hank was active as a superhero in the 70s and 80s, fighting various wars and doing science stuff at Camp Lehigh with Howard Stark, right? And it's during the 80s in one of these war missions that Hank lost Janet to the quantum realm. But it's also during the 80s that a mysterious nurse would let a certain Isaiah Bradley free from his 30 years of experimentation by the military. She took pity on me, wrote up some fake reports, something. She had me declared dead. 
I think this military nurse who took pity on Isaiah Bradley's experimentation and helped him escape was the same Linda that Hank had a brief fling with, Linda Carter, the night nurse. And this would also make sense considering that apparently, according to the showrunner for Netflix's Daredevil, the show originally had Rosario Dawson's Claire Temple as Linda Carter, the night nurse, but was told by Marvel Studios themselves to change that name to a different name because they had plans for a Linda Carter night nurse down the road, which is why she is called Claire Temple instead. So I think those Marvel Studios plans for the night nurse are starting to come true with both Falcon and Winter Soldier and now with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, both teasing the coming of Linda. But also knowing that Hank was doing the hanky-panky himself also opens the door for another strong Marvel heroine, Nadia Van Dyne, aka the Unstoppable Wasp, who in the comics is the long-lost daughter of Hank Pym, who got wrapped up in the Red Room of Widows before being freed and becoming the next Wasp. I think Marvel telling us about Hank's sexual past was more than just a joke. I think that doing this so soon after the Red Room was just canonically liberated by Natasha in the Black Widow film is very much preparing the Marvel audience to meet Miss Nadia down the line. Maybe even possibly as the secret daughter of Linda Carter's night nurse. Who knows? That'd be a nice little twist from the comics. But anyways, this all being said with full confidence that her husband would respect her sexual health and needs, I am also confident that Kang and Janet did do the deed at least one time. At least one time. At least. Like Janet went from being stranded alone, not talking to anyone, to telling this quantum traveler that fell from the sky nearly everything about her life and family. Like Kang even knew the nickname that Janet had for Hope. Like he literally called Hope her jelly bean. A quantum scientist who also happened to be a traveler like her husband. If her husband was also black and had his body chiseled by Apollo himself. Like Kang and Janet totally boned. They totally did the sex. Because let's be real here, Janet Van Dyne kinda has a thing for assholes. I mean first she married Hank, then she banged Kang, and then she banged Kryler. Like she's like a douchebag magnet. But yes, you're welcome. I asked the one question that we all had on our minds. Did Janet bang Kang? And they totally did. I think they totally did. Kang is literally just a more handsome version of her husband. Let's be real. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment on Twitter if you guys want to see me tweet some weird shit and really fun theories. But more importantly, you can follow New Rockstars wherever we are on the social medias. And of course, do not forget to hit up nerdriot.shop where you can pick up one of these amazing new Quantumania inspired hoodies. We also got Mandalorian inspired hoodies coming very soon. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to The Deep Dive where we are going into movies a lot more deeper than usual on that YouTube channel. It's really great. Go subscribe to The Deep Dive today. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And go bang a Kang today. If you can. If you can.